saying goodbye to all of his spells, to his book, to his staff. There's also Shakespeare's farewell. His life is fortunate has been made. He's returning to Stratford-upon-Avon. And all this can be made from this speech. I don't need much in the way of props. I don't need a set. What I need is you to imagine. Ye elves of hill, brooks, standing lakes, and groves, and ye that on the sands with Pripa's foot do chase ye ebbing Neptune and do fly him when he comes back. And you, demi-puppets, that by moonshine do the green sour ringlets make, whereof the you, not bites. And you, whose pastimes it to make midnight mushrooms, that rejoice to hear the solemn curfew, by whose aid, weak masters though you be, I have the dimmed, the noontide sun called forth the mutinous winds and twixt the green sea and the azure vault set roaring war. To the dread rattling thunder have I given fire and rifted Jove's stout oak with his own bolt. The strong base promontory have I made chink, and by the spurs plucked up the pine and cedar. Graves at my command have waked their sleepers, oped and led them forth by my so potent art. This rough magic. I hear a joy. And when I have required some heavenly music, which even now I do, to work my airy ends on the senses that this fairy charm is for, I will break my staff, bury it certain fathoms in the earth, and deeper than it ever plummet sound, I'll drown my voice. 